It was about tending to this fragile layer of soil that they'd cultivated from glacial meltwaters and returning, you know, human you back to the soil, that I got it, I really got it, that it was tending and caring to the soil using these regenerative practices. And I came back to Australia and I went, well, how are we supposed to do that here in our contemporary society? And permaculture was the closest way that I could find to actually look at the principles of nature and the practices of living lightly on the earth in a way that made sense and was shareable. And so I've dedicated my life to permaculture because I feel that something very, well, like I said, very shareable. It's something that just makes sense. It's doable by anyone everywhere. I work a lot with refugee youth and in uh, East African refugee camps, they can do it there. I work with people on rooftops in New York and they can do it there. And Kids in schools, they can do it there. I just think finding ways that we can share loving the soil, loving the planet, loving community, uh, it just, to me, it, it fills my cup. It feels like it's a way to contribute to the well-being of society and the planet.